Hello everybody, and welcome to The Ronin Diaries. Today, I would like to take just a little bit of your time and discuss my favorite series and the future of, of my favorite series. And that, of course, is none other than Naruto. Now, I know that may be kind of hard to believe, considering all or most of the content that I've made up to this point is Pokemon related. However, my first ever tattoo, and actually only tattoo up to this point, is Naruto related. So, make no mistake, this is my favorite series. And while I don't necessarily like what Warto has done or what it's got going for it, there are some pretty cool moments from Boruto, like this for example. However, um, I think Boruto is a bit lacking, and I feel that I'm not the only one in the community that feels this way. So, I wanted to discuss something a little bit different than Boruto. Instead, what I wanted to discuss is Naruto Top 99. In case you don't know, Naruto Top 99 is a worldwide poll where people are allowed to put in their votes on which character is their favorite, and this poll was actually set up because our Lord and Savior, Kishimoto himself, is allowing us to decide who the next protagonist of his series is going to be instead of just arbitrarily deciding himself, which I think is amazing. Ultimately, by doing this, Kishimoto not only is going to let us decide the series and please the largest majority of fans, since the most popular character will win, but this will let Kishimoto know which characters to keep in his back pocket, in his back pocket, as plot devices for just general world building into the story. And today, I would like to give my opinion on who I think it should be. Now. It should be said that two things. One, the voting for this poll is closed. It's been closed for a little bit now. And two, we're going to be getting our results in April, so right around the corner. Um, but with those points in mind, I do think that my character is a very popular character. My character definitely could be the protagonist of a story, but I don't think they will be. I don't think they will be. I think they'll more than likely be beaten out by one of these three that you see on screen right here, but let's get into it. So, who should the next Naruto series be over? Well, in order to fix the damage that Boruto has caused to the Naruto community and Naruto's kind of just image in general, I feel like the protagonist needs to, out the gate, needs to be a character that most everybody can like. It can be a character that is just super skilled as a genius like Sasuke for example, or it could be a character that starts from the bottom and has to work all his way all the way up. Um, not so much like Naruto because Naruto had the Knights of Fox inside of him and he had, you know, Minato's DNA inside of him, Kushina's DNA inside of him. Someone more like Rock Lee who has to start at the very bottom with nothing and work his way to greatness. Either of these plot devices work, but either way, the character needs to be likable, unlike Boruto. Moreover, I think it should also be a character that would be fun to watch grow. So unfortunately, that will be knocking out any Sakuras, any Kibas, any Shizunes for this video. We get to see the major, you know, points of their power, but it doesn't feel like it would be very fun to watch them grow to that point. It's not a super exponential point that's going to take a really long growth to get to. Lastly, I think it would probably be smart to pick a character that already has somewhat of a fleshed out story. The reason for this is because I don't think Kishimoto is going to be making a series as large as Naruto or Boruto, and because of that, it would be a lot to start off with a brand new character, with a whole new setting, with a bunch of new backstories that I have to set up, and while that is plausible and definitely doable, I feel like it would definitely make the story more enjoyable if we took bits and pieces that we already have from the Naruto world that isn't answered yet, and slowly fill in those holes through the Naruto story with this other person's perspective. With all that being said, who do I think should be the main protagonist of the next series? Well, it should come as no surprise to many 
but I really do think that the next protagonist of this series should be none other than Kakashi Hatake. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Half of you are probably rolling your eyes and thinking Kakashi's backstory is already completed. We get to see him whenever he's a child. We get to see him whenever he's becoming a chunin and how he led his squadron, what that le ended up leading to, and how his personality is. We get to see Kakashi all through Naruto and Shippuden and past him to Boruto. Kakashi is always there. So why would you want to make the next series about Kakashi? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first thing is, I'm a simp. The first thing is, Kakashi is my favorite character in pretty much all of fictional history. I really love his attitude, I love the backstory, and his skill set. He starts off as this super domineering character that just kind of takes charge, leads the way, he's super aloof. There, in part one, it felt like there was, you know, a lot more there that we were needing to get to, and then that was delivered in Shippuden. However, that being said, there are still so many things that we could answer through Kakashi. Instead of making a whole new series about somebody like, for example, Sakumo, his father, or Minato, his sensei, while those series would be nice. I do want to mention, um, I'm, I've probably spoiled a few things a little bit if you haven't seen the series up to this point, but from this point going forward, there is a potential spoiler warning, warning, uh, spoiler warning if you haven't seen all of Naruto and Shippuden. So, if you do have to tune out here, thank you so much for watching, and if you can, please subscribe, I do appreciate it. Now, getting back to it. So, for example, in the case of Itachi, we get to see pretty much everything of his story, from his young childhood, of him holding Sasuke in his hands, to all the way in the Anbu, whenever he's leading the Anbu and being the number one Anbu agent, all the way until he's reincarnated. We get to see every aspect of Itachi's life, and there's not really a whole lot left that we could flesh out. Yes, we could see a little bit of what he was like in the Akatsuki, or maybe some of his missions, but there's not really a whole lot of plot holes regarding Itachi left that would make a series worthwhile. Now, characters like Madara or Hashirama, these are amazing characters, very prolific characters, and they definitely have an air of mystery surrounding them, but what makes Madara and Hashirama so great as characters is their absolute peak of power. No one's able to contest them, and unfortunately we've already seen Madara, especially at his absolute peak, as, long, as well as Hashirama. We've definitely seen Hashirama at his peak as well. There's nothing past his sage mode that he can get or do, so we've seen both Madara and Hashirama at their best. There's really no point in making a series over either of them. And when it comes to a character like Minato, is that, well, he definitely is strong and has that, like, main character status. Too little is really known about him. And I know the counter argument to that is, well, Ronin, that's the reason why you would make a backstory for this character. I agree. This is the reason why you would make a backstory for this character. But there would be half. There would have to be so much that is created, so much new information that needs to be created from the jump, and there would be a lot of really high expectations for a series based solely off of Minato. If Minato was to become the main character of the series, so many new questions would be brought up like, where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? No. Where did he come from? Why did he come to Konoha? Who did he defeat in the tuning exams? Was it just a mop? I'm sure it was. It's me and so it was obviously just a mop. But like, what was his tuning exams like? Was there any major events that threatened the village when Minato was Hokage, or was, aside from the Nine Tail Fox, or whenever he was Joni or a Chuni? Was there any major events that he had to fight against? There is just so much that would be dropped onto Kishimoto's plate and such a high expectation that there would be more room for it to fail. But with Kakashi, we already have a good skeleton for a story with plenty of things already at our disposal to fill in some of that status. Um, for example, we see Kakashi's life 
all the way from a young child to his current status in Boruto as ex Hokage. We know a lot of Kakashi, but there's also a lot that we don't know quite yet. For example, a lot about Sakumo, a lot about his father. We could have a whole series about Sakumo, or we could have a bunch of flashbacks of Sakumo through Kakashi. We could have stories that Sakumo told Kakashi whenever Sakumo was still around. We could have a whole episode, or maybe two episodes, devoted solely to conversation between Kakashi and Sakumo whenever Kakashi saw him in the afterlife. There's a lot there that could be built upon with Kakashi as the center of the story. Same thing with Minato. Minato could be telling Kakashi stories about where he came from, or why he came to Konoha, how he fell in love with Kushina. All of these things don't necessarily have to be a whole story on their own, but necessarily mini stories to fill in an already decently built skeleton. And one major thing that we know about Kakashi that we haven't gotten to see is, what is his nickname? He's the copycat ninja, right? What is the copycat ninja known for? But after this mess, I've reached my boiling point. I'm Kakashi, the copy ninja. I know a thousand jutsu, and now I'll use them all and live up to my name. Knowing over a thousand jutsu, and we've seen like maybe 30 in the entire series. I don't know about you, but I would love to have a small series, and we don't even have to obviously see him learn all 970 different jutsu, but I would love to see a series where Kakashi goes through and learns several different jutsu over several different episodes, and we can see how he uses each new jutsu tactfully and gets out of the situations that he gets into. I mean, after all, there is a reason why at the beginning of the series and throughout, Kakashi's name is known far and wide. Hey boss, that guy, the one standing there on the right, it's Kakashi Hatake. Come on, I know that much. Kakashi the Copy Ninja. Zabuza, whenever he first meets him, he's like, Ugh, you're Kakashi the Copycat Ninja. And that's pretty much how everyone reacts because Kakashi is known. He's slippery, he's smart, he's decisive, he's strong. He's like all of these qualities that you want in a leader and also a protagonist. Another big question that I have is why is Kakashi so obsessed with Jiraiya's makeout series? And why is Kakashi so perverted? Maybe we get an episode or two with Kakashi pilfering around and, you know, trying to follow around Jiraiya because he knows Jiraiya is his sensei's sensei. And so he's like, oh, well, if Minato sensei is too busy to teach me something, maybe Jiraiya sensei can teach me something. And he starts pilfering through Jiraiya stuff and finds one of his books. There's so much that can be built upon with Kakashi here in the center that there's really no need to have somebody like Minato as the main character. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, there are several characters in Naruto that would make a good main character, and obviously not everyone is going to agree with me on you know, whether or not Kakashi should be the main character, nor is Kishimoto himself going to see this video and be like, you know what, absolutely, just for you, Kakashi's main character. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, but it's not gonna happen. Um, but I hope that after watching this video, if you made it all the way to the end of this, um, not only will you have a deeper appreciation just for the show Naruto in general, but maybe you'll like my favorite character just a little bit more and he'll go up, you know, just a little bit higher on your favorites list. Um, but I hope that after watching this video, if you didn't at least like the content of the video, you at least enjoyed yourself and you had a good time sticking around up to this point. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. Obviously, this is my first video, but there will be more to come. Pokemon, Naruto, Yu-Gi-Oh, Zelda, Nintendo games, fighting games, party games, um, just tons, tons of content. Um, it's a bit slow going at first as I'm starting. But there is more content on the way. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate it. This is the Ronin Diaries, and I will see you all next time.